Transmission received. Mysterion brings justice. You can't kill that which never dies. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Sad Park Furnace Row video. And today we have the news which everyone's been waiting for because they've been teasing it for like a week now, which is the new card and it's eventual. So. I may have said once or twice in Discord that I'm not looking forward to it because it's adventure. We don't play adventure in this channel, so uh, but unfortunate. However, we do not. Have, we, well, we do have gameplay, right? But I don't have the gameplay. It's um, it's been provided by Buck, who's the dev of the game or the community dev, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna talk about it in a minute. So let's just start off with the giveaway. So I accidentally left the group chat yesterday in the South Park Discord, so I wasn't able to provide anyone's name because I wanted to upload the team was yesterday because I knew this was gonna come up today. But uh, that never happened. So, because I left, I'm now back in. So I'm and I with to do it. So we're gonna do it now. And uh, I'm not. I can't record my screen because my I know the OBS is messing up. So I can't show the, like the rolling system. But trust me when I say I'm only doing it once. So the first person who's gonna get is gonna win. So if you are watching this video and you didn't watch the last video, all you have to do was comment down Kenny, and I'm gonna roll it now. So you're gonna hear some clicking, and the person who won is. Bear in mind, you have to leave your in-game name. Okay, so there are 89 people who commented uh, Kenny, so we're going to see who the winner is now, and it is... Oh! Soko. So, Soko is the winner, and his in-game name is there as well, so I'll be, I'll be giving that to Red Links. Hopefully, you get your rewards soon. Thank you for sticking to this game. We really need content creators to spice up the game like yours. Oh, thank you. Uh, nice comment as well to go with it. So, uh, I'm going to give your name to Red Links, and you should get your rewards soon. So, what is it? It's um, free bro tokens. 350 cash, uh, 2k coins, and what 3k BBB tickets. So when you see this video, um, like I gotta actually make the video first before I give your name in. So you should see it. Prob I mean, it's actually pretty fast to do it. So you should see it within like a couple of hours, probably tomorrow even. So that's the giveaway done. I think I would be doing another one, probably on like Friday or Thursday, or actually probably Friday actually, when we do actually get the card. I do believe we can give this card away, but don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. Uh, chances are we can, but we, we never know. It's oh yeah. So I, let's just start with the card then. It's a rare, so you know it's it's not like you need copies of it. Uh, it's it's you know it's a rare. Uh, it, it, you can get in the sky to level four pretty easy, even level five. So let's start off with his card up. Actually, what's the the card name? It's called Thunderbird. So it's an, it's an adventure four cost rare card, which uh, is a headhunter. So it basically you know if you know what it means, it only goes towards your new kid. And uh, it, what it does is a bit of a unique one, so I'll show gameplay in a second. But it doesn't have an attack, it's in a charge to believe, which is automatically, you know, um, blasted. So it basically, uh, what, it's like, it's like, it looks like um, Orsimo's little like sit down, he does. Um, so yeah, it does 70 damage, um, but it maxes out at 309, which is like what, level 7. So let's just look at level 5 stats, which is provided by Buck. So the, the attack does. At level 5, the attack does max level 5, it does 256, which every 5 seconds, I mean, it's it's alright. The unique part is it's a head turner and it's flying, so, you know, you can't have assassins, you can't have, you know, you have to use range units. And, you know, it does hit the new kid and I probably like some units behind, so you kind of got to spread some units out. Which I think is a good balance because obviously, you know, Adventure has fireball, so, you know, if you're spreading your units out, you're not going to be able to fireball, um certain cards but definitely fireball will be a good combo with this card because it's flying it doesn't stop it doesn't get pushed by any other units it just goes straight past everyone like Slava marvin but um the, this difference is it's uh it's locked to the adventure theme and it does charge damage over time which you can't you can't activate it does it by itself so it's a bit of like a strategy to play it um you can't just save for the right moment to actually attack um you could pretty much wait it out until it attacks and then send it all units in because at that point you know it's, it takes five more seconds to attack so let's get to the main juicy bit of this video, which is the gameplay. So bear in mind this ain't from mine, my end, it's from Buck's end. So uh, gameplay for, I, I guess, like normal standard videos will come in probably like when the card comes out on Friday. Um, I guess that hasn't been developed update yet, so we have to wait and see. Uh, this video's going to go up before that, so you never know. So I'm going to cut to the gameplay now. Yeah! <laughs> 
Program initiated. So you can see the model actually looks really good in game. Um, obviously, you know, like the, the South Park thing is that um, Robo Baby, for example, is like looks like the Terminator, but in game she's like a little, uh, well, like a little shooter thing. Bounty on a cow has like a wind, uh, a, what's it, like a, a leaf blower on his back. You know, it's like the the kid's imagination of what this card actually is. Um, and the cool thing is, you can see standing in the moves in the, in the back or in the front of the card art. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's gameplay. Looks pretty good, as you can see. It's it's kind of a tricky card because you know there's ways around it, which is always good for a head hunter. You don't want a head hunter to be OP. Um, like Dougie's were, where you can just spawn a minute and you get value. This one, you kind of got to play around it. And um, yeah, the fact is, it's a, it's a flying card. That's an ability in itself. So so the funny thing was uh, was seeing everyone's reaction, um, especially trying to predict what the card is because people thought it was going to be Dougie because he said shocking because Dougie's electric probably. And people thought we we're going to get like some sort of parent. So we're going to get Cow's mom or Cow's dad. Uh, you know, we got Kenny's dad. We got um, both Stan, mom and dad. And what Cartman's mom? So we're definitely seeing more parents come in the future. Hopefully, some uh, some soon. But you know they're kind of like random ones, so don't expect to see them always. But this card, this is a little theory going on right now. So I show a screenshot on this thing. Um, I don't know where it came from. I saw on Discord. Um, someone posted this. So this card was apparently requested by South Park itself. So you know why would South Park want this card to be in a game when it's a it's so random? So, obviously, people are theorizing that it could be a new South Park game coming in the future. Now, if, if you know, I don't have, I haven't uploaded any South Park, like, game content-wise, because I played them before I even had this channel. But, uh, yeah, if we get a new South Park game coming soon, that would be dope. We can actually play it on this channel and see how it is, because, um, I pretty much got, I actually, I grinded the, the fuck out of the first game. I got platinum it on PlayStation. I, I finished it, like, four times. First one was good. Second one, I didn't really enjoy it as much, but, uh, it was definitely a good game. So yeah, I think that's all. We have the gameplay, we have what the card looks like, we have the stats of it, level 5, we've done the giveaway. So I think that's all for today. Um, videos is a bit shorter, oh, I guess it's like 7 minutes long already. But um, yeah, I guess, it, I mean we already know what card's coming. So the developer update shouldn't be that juicy or, you know, worth making a video on. But I think I'm going to upload a Grand Cross video later today and then probably save my Team Wars video for tomorrow. I think it's a good one. Uh, the pack, I haven't even got the pack yet, so we'll see how what we get in that one. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the content. And also, thanks to you for 3k subs, because you just hit that recently. Uh, not, I haven't thought of anything special yet, but we'll wait and see how it goes. For the people who want to face a real, you got to wait a bit longer for that one, Chiefs. But uh, yeah, that's going to be all for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching. Peace.